Salutations, my friends. I'm Harold Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in TWR, in which we are playing with the Fat Man, of course. Uh, last time, Norway got a little uppity, and we said, no, 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 not today. But I can say happily that uh, right now, we I did not restart the campaign again, so that's great. I didn't have to spend more time doing this again. Uh, we are now a dictatorship, actually, instead of a fanatical dictatorship, I guess. Um, not bad. But anyways, we got a couple comments to get to. Uh, let's see. I'm going to retreat my guys back to the line against the Soviets. Because they're doing Liberating the Liberated. In which they get a war goal against the Reichskommissariat Oslen. Which means we might end up in a war right now against the Soviets. Which would be a great thing. Someone recommended I go to war with them uh, right now. Since anyways, they're probably not that strong compared to us. Or compared to us, you know, they're, they're doing okay. Uh, however, they're also fighting... Uh, against the Russian Republic, so a two-front war for them would be a great thing, but halting Operation Reinhardt by order of the Reichsmarschall. All current objectives and execution of Operation Reinhardt and its affiliated operations in Eastern Europe shall be permanently delayed until further instructions. All current operatives and captured captives and dissidents must be maintained. All sites are expected to provide adequate support to maintain the current population. All design documents must be destroyed within the next 24 hours. Follow Section B of the 1952 or... Oh, God. 1952 Action Not. Reich's Chancellery. We need resources elsewhere. Oh boy. Oh boy. Operation right now hard. Seems like it's going crazy. Introduce deportation. The black ships. Ah. Especially if it goes to that I state. Oh. Camps? I love camps. Uh, we do want, do want have to go to war soon. Let's go and grab some advice. If you tell a lie big enough and keep repeating it, people will eventually come to believe in it. Uh, Gribble said these last words many years ago, but they remain true. The propaganda that we put out must not only be big, shocking, and simple, but we also must make sure that we say it to the point it becomes a fact. Of course, the Gobi boy himself should heed this effort. Yes, attention to the public. Uh, unique system. Yeah, I do want to get down here quickly, but if they're going to do try to fight my, my puppet, well, we'll see what happens first. All right, guys, race down there. We are really out of... Equipment, which really, really sucks. But it is what it is. Okay, see, there we go. Cancel on lease. That's not good. Um, hopefully we get some more soon. Just saying. Hopefully we do. So got some political power here, which is nice. Improved working conditions. We could get more stability if we really wanted to. Overseas testimonies. Restore Muscovine. We will do that eventually. Restore this. Public exhibition for more stability. Uh, when removed, 1% more stability. And a little bit more political power for 30 days. That might not be bad to do. Yeah, we'll just see it. So if we end up with... What, how much do we spend here? 30? If we end up with like 151, up, that's not too bad. Uh, so we gotta get through combo comments as well. You know, improve working conditions. <sighs> we might as well. We'll try that. Cool. Couple comments. Um, I asked you guys yesterday, oh, there goes that, State of Armenia, whether we should go with our in industry, whether we should go concentrated or dispersed. And it was recommended with a lot of support that we should go with concentrated industry. So we'll do that. We'll do concentrated industry. Ooh, I, actually, I, I can't tell if we got more political power or not. Um, we spent 100, 121. It looks like it's pretty much worth it to get public exhibition. I think that's pretty good to do. That'd be a good thing. Also, I threw on some more planes here. Well, at least for someone here. You could use more planes here as well. Meza Schmitz, Cass. Most definitely, they need some Cass right there. Uh, let's see. Junkers, fighters. Increase this by 10. Or 20, really. You guys... Yeah, you're old fighters. We don't really need you there. You are going to need more than that, though. So, uh, do that for now. We want 45 up to here. There you go. That'll be good. That'll be very nice. We got some army XP, too, which is very nice. Uh, are they going to keep liberating the liberated? Liberated, good. Fatigued army, that's good. Let them struggle. I want them to struggle. I definitely, definitely, definitely do. Because we're going to struggle quite a bit. Look how badly our tanks were hit. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Yeah, definitely doing an expedition. Exhibition is a good thing to do. Um, and we already talked about Zukov. We have the fat man leading us right now, which is fine. Good lord, I gotta get out of civilian economy. My goodness. Uh, let's see, someone recommended that I do not do biological weapons because someone said they were a biologist. Uh, don't do it. It's not a good idea. It's probably not a very good idea at all. But I'll do. I'll say this: if it can give me more research speed, I'll do it. Human exp. Oh. Combat enhancement drugs. I'm gonna do it as far as it can benefit us. Like getting more research speed would be nice, or more recovery rate maybe. I want at least human experiments just so we get four percent more 
research speed. And of course, get that as well. That'd be good. And let's, let's do some camps. I love camps. Instead of wasting time and resources on the uh, elimination of Unterdemensch, putting them to work for the Reich would mutually benefit all parties involved. Get more damage to garrisons, but we get more construction speed, which is always nice, even though... Yeah, hold on. Maybe not. Maybe we'll wait on that. Let's do this one. Introduce deportations. We have installed a... What? Oh, crap. I can't cancel this manually. Oh, well... Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, we can do that. Volkswagen? Not bad. Hansa? Siemens? Eh. Eh. Some of these are okay. We could get more manpower, but... We don't really need it yet. Chief of the Navy. No longer get Heroes Day. That's fine. There we go. Here we go. This is... See? We're doing okay now. Oh, man. Everything has a higher... Well, not everything. Strategic bombers have a higher production cost and get less air attack. But it's cheaper to make and get more ground attack. That's not really good. Plus air support, interception, air superiority. I might do that one. Um, since we're in war right now anyways. Friedrich Christensen, we can't do him. Uh, let's see. Ground support's not bad. How about over here? How about tank stuff? Mobile tank designer? Less production cost, more soft stack, more max speed, more reliability. And fast research times. More, they use more fuel to get more armor, though. Or how we get better production cost, more soft attack. Uh, 10% for 10%. 5% more reliability, 5% more uh, soft attack. Actually, you get 5% soft attack. You get a total of 15% more soft attack here. That's pretty good. Uh, doesn't really matter. Mon, AG, Hinchel, and Sun. I'm going to go with Mon. Let's go with Mon for now. I wonder if I try to just a junior. Oh, they got some infantry here, I see, huh? I mean, our infantry isn't superb. It's okay. They're a team combat with. I can't make them any bigger for now, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Even when they threw in a tank. We can't pierce them yet, but that's okay. It says we can do well, so... Why go against advice, you know? And all of these armies do have extra units... Uh, extra planes around them. We can't win everywhere. But my goodness, it looks like we're winning in a lot of places. Not gonna lie. Can they pierce us? No, they can't. And of course, we're attacking over river, which is never a good idea. Hey, we actually called in Gotenland too, and they're doing pretty well, so that's good. Uh, yes, yes, that'd be great. Uh, no, we're okay. I thought you guys were at war with someone else. Yeah, they're at war with the Russian Republic, which is good with us. Their manpower hopefully will be going down quite a bit. They have up to 120 divisions, which isn't bad. I mean, our stockpiles, as we saw earlier, aren't great right now. They have what you're doing. Awesome. Don't get me wrong. Monstein, you got anything for us? Not really. He's an aggressive assaulter, which is nice. Anyone else have anything? Rommel? Fans are expert, definitely. Uh, Schematic reinforce rate. Go with recovery. We could probably recover a little bit faster. That'd be good. Anything down here? Nope. Anything over here? Nope. Jorg Hans? No? Okay. What can we do with that? Modify government? Industrial contractor? Oh, we can do Deutsch Lufthansa. Get some more stability. That's nice, but we don't really need that. Don't really need a navy for this either. Mayday? Good? Good. Yes. Oh, we just killed off a couple more divisions. We've lost 20,000 versus 108,000. That's not bad. But what we should really expect. Oh, man. They're really stacking soldiers here, aren't they? They're stacking a lot of infantry. Wow. Chemical research. More research speed would be nice. We've got a way. Fighting addictions. Well, we already did that. Restore Muscovy. We definitely will. The Second German-Soviet War. Supply situation in the Russian tundra is still manageable, but if the war continues for, on too, for too long, our military will suffer. We get less speed, more supply consumption. Activate Second German-Soviet War. Oh, boy. War bonds. Ooh, war propaganda against the Siberian Isles. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Um... I can't use anything yet. 105% of our number of civilian military factories to produce consumer goods. Zero factories where minus 20 can be used for trade. Even if I did war bonds, I probably won't get very much out of that anyways. So, hmm. If we could move as quickly as possible, that would be great. Stuff like 31,000 versus 164,000. Not bad. They're slowly getting pushed back, which is not ideal. Please don't capitulate. Um, we're having a lot of green here, which is awesome to see, but hmm. Building sabotage. We don't have the infantry equipment for this, I don't think, because we're going to have so much resistance to deal with here. Oh my goodness, this is so not good. Maybe I bit off more than I could chew, but then again, I'm in a defensive war. Guderian was wounded. That's not a good thing. 
Yeah, some of these tanks are going to die. Oh, man, look at these. Some of these guys are definitely going to die, because look at this. Oh, so not good. I mean, we're doing well in the attack, for the most part. And they went to war with me. I didn't go to war with them. They went to war with us. So, let's go ahead and do this and get some more military factories. That'd be good. Concentrate industry. Thank you. If you want to help out, go right ahead. Convoy escorts. Good. Uh, we don't really need that for now. Maybe some air doctrine stuff might be really beneficial. I think we're using CAS. So, battlefield support. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if we do. Mm, also, then that's fine. I'm going to put you on some of these other divisions down here. Quarter million blocks. They have 92 divisions. That's good. 90 divisions. Labor camps. I love camps. We shape the old penal system. Nice. So more construction speed, less damage garrisons. The old penal system was wholly dependent on two things: resources, which is now which are now low, and the SS, which have shown themselves to be unreasonable in recent years. We need to change fundamental aspects of the system in order to make it stable. First thing is to decentralize the prisons, giving control of the less manpower and intensive ones over to provincial governments, and thus taking the burden off of the national national government. Next is to remove the SS from management positions at the prisons and make sure they don't get their mitts on them again. Which is, sounds good. And then we're going to do some more economy stuff. Actually, I think that'd be very very beneficial for us. Oh, don't lose Kif. Oh my goodness, you look so weak. Oh, they're, they're literally attacking until they die, almost. Holy crap. I mean, victory has a price, yeah, but Jesus Christ. Close it, close it, close the pocket. There we go, my friends. As long as they don't move in there, that'll be good. We're here to restore Kiev, or Ukraine. Nice. Yes, please send me everything you have. The Russians are knocking. Good. Destroy that division. Oh, they're they're retreating. They're retreating the line a little bit. That's nice stuff. If that's the case, I'm going to do this. Everyone in the north, this is actually probably the worst idea. Sending these guys in the north because of probably all the marshes. But sending you guys down here, it's kind of okay. I mean, they're infantry. They'll do their job. And when the war is over, I will separate some territory between us and the Russian republics. Or Russian republic. They'll get some stuff out of this. Uh, yeah, let's get some more political power and get some more stability because we desperately need it right now. Beautiful. We've killed off 400,000. We've taken 67,000 casualties. We've killed off like 20 divisions probably. Go, go. I'm not sure where all the divisions are at. Hopefully they're on... That's... Oh, look at that. Beautiful encirclement. Even though we are completely out of equipment at this point. They might be able to keep it up. They might not. I'm not really sure. They completely abandoned the Ukraine. So, I mean, I love that, so that's great. We currently get 1.62 a day. We got a little more than two months to finish this off. Which we might actually accomplish, since they have 85 divisions, they're 29% of the way towards capitulation. And we're going to get to Gotenland as well, so that will definitely help them out there. They put a lot of their divisions in the north, which is which makes sense. I mean, they're close to Moscow. Yeah, I'm not sure... Oh, look how weak these guys are. I mean, they're not great divisions, let's be real. They're 12 combat with. So, I'm not feeling too bad if I lose a few of them. You know, it happens. Whatever. As long as no one else goes to war with me, you know. You can help out there. Oh, maybe not. Go right there, then. See what you can do. Anything else? We got two months. Two months. Can we do it in two months? I think we can do it within two months. You know what? I'm going to go straight for early mobilization. We don't need more manpower. That's not the issue. Nice. Can we, oh, can we get Ukraine yet? We should be able to get the Ukraine, right? Oh, we should be able to get it soon. And we will, when we restore Ukraine, all the resistance goes down. Which is awesome. Yes, please. Give me those rifles. We need them. Yeah, we're out like 25,000 rifles. Jesus Christ, that's so much. Come on, come on, come on. Push, 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 push. We need Kaiserdorf. Where the heck is Kaiserdorf? That's... No, that's not Kaiserdorf. How, how far... How, oh, is this Kaiserdorf? Tola. No. We're shaping the old penal system. Uh, I want to keep going down here since I wanted to go do this. But, um, de-escalation. Economic policies. Now that we're in power, it's time to rethink some of those economic policies that we've been using for far too long now. Ham-fisted direct intervention into the market has added benefits, but they're shaking the long term. The flexibility of relying upon the market itself has proven to be easier to adapt to its changes, mitigating potential harm, and spurring economic growth even faster than if executed by the state. The invisible hand of the market has proven time and time again to be the purveyor of direct benefit upon proven upon both the individual and the corporation. We've seen it in America for years now. If we apply the economic mindset of our most staunch opponent, then we can truly and surely beat them at their own game. The propaganda value of such would be enormous. Yes. Good. Become more like America. Hmm. Aerosols. Nice. More soft attack. I'm going to go... I know someone doesn't want me to do this, but... Uh... Oh, what is that? 
No exclusive with non-lethal -ch chemicals? These are lethal chemicals. Non-lethal chemicals. Huh. Combat tear gas. Ooh, I kind of like that. Chemical shells. I kind of like that more. Ground support and strategic bombing with chemical bombs or military chemical science. Oh, I kind of like the trickle back. Ah, that's pretty difficult. I'm going to go with human experience to get more research speed. Um, uh, do I have to explain myself? Not if we... If we lose the war, then we will have to explain ourselves. If we don't lose the war, then we don't have to explain ourselves. So let's not lose any war. Yeah, this is definitely stagnating over here. But we're doing so well over here. Actually, where's Kaiserdorf? Oh. Oh, it's right there. Oh, shnikes. Hold on. Uh, Tambov Gomel. Hmm. Well, maybe we have to win the war first, maybe? We should be able to do it already. I mean, let's be real here. We should be able to do what we need to do now. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did not get rid of the infantry. I'm glad I kind of restarted the campaign now, knowing that uh, these guys would attack us. So, uh, well, how's the GDP looking? Not, not too bad. Actually, the Soviet USSR is doing better than... What happened to Britain? They're doing worse than China. Wow, hold on. I think they went Labor Party, didn't they? Mmm, well, go figure. Alright, so let's go redo this. Cool. Let's reorganize you guys, because the infantry is just doing amazing. They don't need fuel, they don't need that much equipment. They, well, I guess technically they didn't put that many soldiers down here. I can't see enemies. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, well, I mean, we're doing a really good job. Let's get our guys a little bit more planning bonus first before we launch them out. Oh, hmm. Just go ahead. The supply situation's gotten really bad around here, so we gotta wait. We have two weeks left. We're not gonna win within two weeks. Which is not very good, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright. Cool. He was wounded. That's not good, but, you know, it is what it is. We got a week left. Reveal Seuss report. A speculation about the risk of carbon dioxide produced by human industry into the atmosphere? Probably nothing to worry about. Just CO additional CO2 is okay, right? Alright, nothing nothing to worry about. Um, Gomel. Hold on. Where's Gomel again? I don't know about you, man. But, uh, I, I, I would like Gomel, please. Uh, what? Alright, so I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. I'm just taking this pot for myself for now. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they tell me no? So. Let's see. Kaiserdorf. Uh, I'm just going to do the same thing down here. It doesn't make... Hold on. Let me see if I can ask them first. Alright, well. And subordination. I'm just going to take it. Because this is what happened during a war. Let's restore Ukraine. Yeah, I'm not going to tolerate that. Like, come on. You're my, pu you're li my literal puppet. You don't have to say whether you give me stuff or not. You're going to give it to me. One way or another. There we go. Look at that. Er Koch, they are vermin. Welcome back, Ukrainians. Because this is all under German territory, so I figured that'd be okay. You know, that doesn't make any sense why it wouldn't be okay. Uh, repair the grain industry. Cut our losses. Aid the German settlers. Yes, restart the facilities. Sense of normalcy. Uh, new mines. Slavic factories. They are vermin. They are laborers. Oh boy. Our plan in full. I kind of wonder what's going to happen. Mm, very cool. Good luck, guys. Oh, we can't take quite take Musk. Oh my goodness, yeah, we are incredibly weak down here. Well, I've employed everyone. A few divisions die. You know, it happens. Happens. Throw in two more. See if you can do anything about that. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, we got those done. Great. Um, we could do that. It's 1956. Let's grab some of this. More 10% so, more soft attack is pretty good. Formation flying, not bad. Get some more of that, too. That'd be good. Uh, how is air superiority? Yeah, we are dominating the air right now. Uh, no, we don't believe in that right now. Couch is 200,000 versus 700,000. They have 60 divisions left. That is beautiful. Thank you, Ukraine. I liberated you for a reason. Now, speaking of... Oh, XL governments. Occupation policies. Oh, occupation policies. Civilian governments always good to do. Yeah. Economic policies, great. Bonus for industry. Let's other plan. 
Let others plan. Perhaps it is time to take a hands-off approach to planning the economy. Instead of bureaucrats within the economic ministry slaving over our desks trying to determine which goes where, we can leave it to those who are less easily stumped and can see the writing on the wall much clearer. Of course, such men are the heads of the various conglomerates that dominate the private sector of our economy. These men have had years of experience. Each of them sees what makes the economy tick, what makes it improve, decline, or fail. It is preposterous that we should not have more of these men in economic positions within our government. A room full of these businessmen can achieve an entire decade's worth of bureaucrats' efforts in a single afternoon. Bring me the contact list. I have a few meetings to arrange. We lose some political power, which is fine, and an outside economic expert is invited. Yes. Even though we're at war, public exhibitions are always welcome. Oh. Second German. Oh. We get even less division speed, more supply consumption, less war support. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is not good. Something over here. Less war support? Hmm. Well, I mean, at this point, they're pretty weak as well, so I'm not too worried about this. Our stockpiles are stretched way too thin. But uh, they have only 60 divisions left. And even though technically we have more divisions, like, it's not doing well since our divisions up here are doing extremely badly. Some of them are, so. But you know what? We took Moscow back. Muscovine is ours. And I'm so glad we, we liberated the Ukraine from these evil, evil literal communists it, it had to be done like resistance was getting too high they can deal with the resistance we don't good keep it up how's the Russian Republic doing they're doing pretty well oh they're actually fighting the Mongolian People's Republic too which is not ideal but you know whatever oh, come on take their factories oh, we're still doing well I love that the infantry is doing great that is such a good thing you know what how about right here these guys will die soon enough yes yes Good. Even though that's a normal division. Bye bye. This is some brutal fighting, man. This has got to be some brutal fighting. Hey, 50% more attack. Usually it's 10%. It used to be 50% before there was a patch. Okay, cool. Oh, can we take the fuel? Let us take the fuel. Concentrated industry is so good. It is 56. I'm going to immediately go ahead and do something here. No. This is all ahead of time, which is disappointing. Whatever. Uh, air adoption, great. Heavy aircraft, 60s. Uh, jet. Look at more range. Drop tanks would be actually be very, very beneficial as we push further and further into Russia. Yeah, infantry is doing great. Please, everyone, give me everything you've got. When the reds are knocking again, you got to just take them out. Yaroslavl. Come on. Hey, they're encircled. Go die now. Thank you. We've lost a quarter million versus 800,000. Not bad. They're slowly dying. The infantry is doing a tremendous job. We're going to get all the way back down to our oil fields. Ah, I love it. God, yeah, these tanks are these. Yeah, these tank divisions, real trash, real trash. One hundred. My goodness. Yodel, I'm glad you're here. I'm really glad you're here. What is that? Oh, the Siberian Isles. That's what they were. Hold on. Yes, Benat. Yes, I love Benat. Who are you, Mikhail Susilov? Even you need focus three? Not really. Uh, I kind of figured they wouldn't. So, hold on. Wait, what, what's going on here? Second German... Two second German-Soviet wars. Stretch supply lines. Why is this going at the same time? Uh-oh, that's not good. Even less supply... Well, technically more supply consumption. Um, minor overextension issues. they become bad. Very bad. Oh, boy. Effects when completed gets event... End of the... Oh. Hmm. Oh, we're not there yet. We got, like, three more to get over there. We get, we get a whole 5% more consumer goods. That'd be good. Half. Thank you. Can I actually make anything? No. Okay. Pa Patton? Patton's now president of the U.S.? It was MacArthur. Now we have Patton? How old are... I still Mackie. Of course, it's November. I keep forgetting it's November. Wow. Support company's great. Work on the land auction. Widespread mechanization will definitely help us out here. It's more production costs, but you know, whatever. That's okay. Come on, cut these guys off. Yes, yes, yes. We've done it. Take the Caucasus region. Take the Caucasus. Even though it's not good for supply. Whatever. Oh, no, I want you. And then I want you to come right here. Take all this. Take, take it all. Yerevan. Uh, Tbilisi. Durbent. Baku. That others plan. That will be good. Market reform. Let's get some market reform. The chief aspect of our fear, our home and growing economic, economic reform, is that of the market itself. For a considerable amount of time, we've called ourselves national socialists in political and economic manners. However, any upper level and practically spoiled party bureaucrat will tell you that the economic system of the Reich is pseudo socialist. Of course, such words are treasonous if spoken out loud, but the hush assessment is somewhat true. 
Prior to the spawning of Goring's economic reforms, the economy operated under heavy state intervention, but in a near totally independent private sector, allowed to practically do whatever they please. This hands off approach has, of course, brought numerous advantages and benefits to our economy, and the common citizen has been none the wiser. Goring's approach is simply tipping the scales a bit further in that direction, retooling the economic model of the rack itself to favor the old system of laissez faire economics, as well as reintroduce the gold standard. Wow. We are really going off all sorts of reforms, aren't we? If you kill them off here, they won't rise up, so. Gamers rise up. Cool. Not bad, not bad. They have 51 divisions left. We have some muzzle breaks for even more soft attack. Yes, please. More defense and breakthrough. Ah, yeah. Even though I know our, uh, we just can't take it too much longer. We have to end this war basically now. Oh my god. Can we can we cut off Muscovy? Mus Moscow or these this region here. Please tell me we can cut them off. Please. That'd be a tremendous encirclement. Yes, we have. They completely abandoned the lines here. Holy crap. I need you all to go. Please go. Yes, yes, yes. More interwar rifles? Great. I don't care what you make. Just make whatever guns we got. Our soldiers are should be enough, experienced enough to, know how to, to figure out how to fire a gun, no matter how old they may or may not be. Help them out. Destroy them. Uh... go. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so nice down here. Fighting the mountains suck, but Hans Speidel is doing a great job in this timeline. Maybe not so much in uh, TNO, but in TWR, yes. Yes, please. This campaign. Oh, this is so nice. Destroy all the divisions if we can. Well, we're struggling down here too, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Ooh, they actually want to push us out. Oh, you're about to get destroyed. Don't let them destroy you. I mean, you can try to leave. You can try to kill me, and it's probably working a little bit. But, uh... There ain't much left of you guys, so good luck. Even on the defense, we can still we can still beat you guys up, so... What's going on? Occupation of... Wait, Oral. Oh, what is this? Fate of Oral, formerly controlled by Russian world title Thrones Volga. The Oral region is now under our direct control. It is up to us to determine the fate of Oral. We can either transfer this region to a civil administration, or we can prolong our direct occupation of the region. Uh, hell yeah. Reichskommissariat Oral. Yes, please. Yeah. That is amazing. At least we got him under us. We're continuing to push further and further east. Yeah, that direction. No national focuses. That's okay. They kind of a generic Reichskommissariat focus. That is time. That is okay with me. That is totally okay with me. You guys gotta help him out here. They're, they're not doing well. Guderian, he's he's got wounded a lot, man. Holy crap. Alright, they're still attacking us. They're still attacking us. This is so nice. This is so good. How are they not capitulated yet, man? I'd be shaking in my boots if I was Zukov right now. You tried it again, and you still lost. What a loser. Over a million dead. They've lost literally three quarters of their entire army. So, I mean, I'm not really sure what else he wants me to say. Can they pierce us? No, like, oh, y yes? Y yes and no? Seven out of eight. Okay, they can kind of pierce us. It doesn't really matter when they're going to die, so. Market reforms, great! Conglomerates, civilian factories, construction speed, not bad. The old system. Uh, more construction speed, which doesn't really matter for your plan. Quotas, ground production, fund the bombs. Oh, oh, we can just go to straight to war economy there. Oh, that's a waste of time then, for what I was doing earlier. Uh, let's go with that. Let's go with four-year plans. A key aspect of quick economic growth with lingering long-term benefits is the four-year plan. At this point, just about an, just about as integral to the German identity as sausage, bread, and Bavarian beer. While directed or dictated by the state, it is a key guider of economic growth and industrial development, alongside with advances in the armed forces. For this specific four-year plan, we can continue to focus on growth of the military and its refinement of technology and equipment. The Oberkommando der Wehrmacht has long petitioned the government for further research and streamlining of current methods. It was the great General Field Marshal Gerd von Rundstedt who stated or at a training exercise last year that a strong army is one that has all of its affairs in order, from the methods of production to its equipment being up to date. We should follow such advice. Happy 1957. We are in a very bloody, bloody war in the east. But I think we're doing pretty darn well. We need Rizian, uh, Caucus, and Lankaran? Lankaran. Oh, how, is that, is this, 
Uh, give me a motorized division or something. You guys take those guys out. Ooh, ooh. No, guys, you'll be alright. Keep going, you're doing a great job. I'm gonna take one of you guys. Just make your way down here, you'll be fine. Actually, you might die on the down here, on the way down here, because you have like no strength. So it is what it is. Any other upgrades yet? Nope. And that's okay. We've lost a third of a million. That's okay. I mean, oh, hello. Patton is inaugurated. Wow. Don't think I was really expecting that. I really wasn't. Wow, he's looking old, man. I mean, it is 57, so what do you expect? He's a... I love being an American. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Die bombing. Thank you very much. Happy Natum 57, everyone. Happy Natum 57. Let's see. 60. Cool. Nothing really down there that I really care about. 58. Oh, that looks really cool. STG 33. Und Reisisch. Uh, Marines. We could use that, but we don't really need them right now. Artillery. We can't do anything. Tanks. Uh, we can't do anything about that either. We're kind of limited on stuff that we can do right now, which I feel so constricted. Uh, ground, direct ground support, because we might as well. Right? We might as well. Cool. I mean, at this point, I want to get the pyramids all over. What's going on? Oh, so, oh, in a few days, we're going to get even worse stuff. We lost so much political power. Wow. Oh, it's about to get so much worse. Oh, they're going to need so many more supplies. Oh, we're just, come on. We're so close. We're so close. Just just give up. They're literally 93% of the way there. Honestly, even more supply consumption it really doesn't affect us. It does affect us quite a bit, but you know what? At this point, we could probably just walk straight in. Go. Uh, go, go, go up there. Yeah, there you go. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? Just go this way. How about this way? Go up that way. Russian Republic. How is the Russian Republic doing? They're doing it slightly better, maybe. They've got quite a few circlements right there, which is nice. When in doubt, this is why I do not get rid of my infantry yet. It's They're just very good so far. They're still very good. Come on. Where's that tank division? Move, 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 move. Yes. They are so close. Still, 94% of the way towards capitulation. Just go, go, go. What are your plans? Great. Drop things. Nice. Grounds production? Yes, please. The key component of a ground army is its equipment. Rifles, rockets, artillery, and everything in between. It's imperative that I also streamline the output of these to ensure that each division has them readily available. The worst thing any commander has to fear is a portion of this unit running out of artillery shells in the middle of a barrage, or even worse, the soldiers having to clip their clips run dry in the heat of battle. As such, production must both be able to meet and their demands during the wartime and easily build up stockpiles during peacetime. Never again shoot a battalion prematurely run out of necessary equipments or supplies or ammunition unless they open themselves up to attacks by the opponents. Good idea. A very, very good idea. 70s, 60s, uh, jet strategic bombing. Oh, I'm not really using this, so it's not really applicable to us. But we're going to keep doing this. Because you never know, we might have to use our navy eventually. MG2s, good, good, good. Yes, please. Oh, yes. I love Banat. Banat is one of my favorite countries of all time. Let's get some better uh, motorized. Yes, please. Guys, for the love of God, please keep going. Please keep going. Actually, I, my, my not, I didn't think I even gave you orders. Did I? Oh, they beat us up there. That's not good. The fall of Perm. One step closer. Actually, yeah. We just did that. Nice. That should be enough round, right? 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 Alright, we gotta maybe manually oversee what's going on here. Because it doesn't seem like they're getting the orders to do a good job. We, of course, we've got issues with supply right now, which is really not good, but whatever. Public exhibition. Yes, please. Stability. Political power. All that good stuff. Yes, more stability, more political power, good. If we can circle these guys and kill them off, that would be tremendous. And now, they're completely cut off. As they should be. Uh, come on, just kill them off. They're so close to capitulating. How, many, how much more? They're 99% of the way there. Come on, man. Every tile we take, we get closer and closer. We ran more and more supplies, but you know what? It is what it is. Oh, hold on. Hey! There we go. Great news. Um, you know what? Hopefully we'll get an event for this, though. I'm going to make sure that the Russian Republic actually gets, like, Mongolia. Oh, maybe they don't get it. Uh, I'll give up some territory. I'm not sure if this is going to be a scripted event or something, but I will give them quite a bit of territory just because 
I thought that thought worked pretty well. That's pretty good. Um, you know, I'll be I'll be nice. We'll see what happens. I'll be a little nicer. There you go. So, actually, um, no, nah, no. Nah, there you go. Can I liberate? I'm not gonna liberate anybody here. I'm just taking all states. Hopefully, we get an event to release things. Maybe that'd be kind of nice. But now we have a uh, beautiful end of the German Soviet War. Years ago, Germany attempted to eliminate the Soviet Union, but ultimately failed to fill to fully accomplish the task due to the sheer size of the Union. However, the second attempt, the what do you mean second attempt? They attacked us. The current German administration has managed to finish what Napoleon and Hitler have failed to do. Germany has finally pacified the Russian bear. As celebrations occurred all across the German realm, uh, the rest of the world is shocked by this achievement. Despite the facade that the war has seemed to be done and dealt with, a new wave of resistance fighters will constantly contest the German rule, pushing the occupied territory into a state of perpetual co conflict. The Aryans are victorious once again. We shall restore the Caucasus region as well, so we have to deal with all this god dang resistance. Ah, I love it. Muscovine. Hold on. Ah, uh, that's exactly what we're going to do next. Especially with some outdated and very hurt tanks. And equipment in general. Beautiful. We have done it, my friends. We have done what Hitler failed to do. Wow, we need so many guns. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of guns we need. And it's only going to get slowly, slowly worse. Okay, so garrisons. You don't need that. You really don't need that. Do military, please. There you go. Now that should reduce it. There we go. We reduced it by 6,000. Instantly, 6,000. Nice. Slowly getting worse. Anti-air. I guess we don't really need anti-air. Um, we need tons of that. We need tons of this. Tons, tons, and tons of that. Do that as well. Uh, we can do, do one more. That's fine. More infantry equipment? We probably don't need that much more infantry, to be honest with you. Maybe make one for now. And shall be led by... Johannes Blaskowitz. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, I don't cancel the least Let's go and go to war when we can. Uh, there are not that many divisions. We must have Muscovine back. Yes. More rifles? Yes, please. Heroes Day? Great. Okay, everyone, you don't need to form... Just do that. We've lost 12 versus 7,000. Not bad, not bad. Direct ground support? I'll gladly take it. Let's go energy generation, more emission air efficiency, that'd be good. Total will be ours. Take that out. Beautiful. They've lost 17,000? 18,000? Can we make it any higher as we let it go on? I didn't really check because I blinked. Thank you. Beautiful. And restored Muscovine when we can in a few days. Three, two ish. One ish. Boom. Beautiful. Now we've got a lot of territory. Oh, what are you guys doing? I thought... Hold on. That's not cool. I'm taking you guys out here. That's not cool. Alright, so we've got a lot of territory up here. We still have Norway. Um... Oh, Fate of... Oh, there we go. I like... I'm glad we have this. This is very interesting. Oh, wow. Greater German Reich. Armenian land transfer? So, if we do this... We transfer West Armenia, East Armenia, and Nachi... Nachichivan to... Calcus. That's fine with me. Go ahead. Take it. I don't care. Georgian land transfer, same thing. Go and take it. I don't care. I really don't want to deal with that. Fate of European Russia, but first we must do ground productions. Extend the war economy. All for the war effort. Propaganda posters will say, do your part to ensure the triumph of your greatness. They emblazon upon poster boards and factories and assembly plants. Such a great speed spirit of fast-paced ingenuity and engineering. One that still occurs today, but not as frequent as we like to see. This is in part due to a lack, overall lack of expansion of the diversity of the war economy itself. An economic planner can recognize the normal sites of a war economy, bullets, rifles, machinery, and vehicles, but it doesn't see the smaller or less thought of components that are just as useful. Them being radios, headsets, or Enigma machines, and a host of other bits and bobs. Uh, perhaps it's time that we foster this expansion into these less forgotten fields. Contributing to a war is in many cogs operating within one machine. If one is neglected, then everything will eventually be sabotaged in the whole entire thing. Fate of European Russia. The Ural border. The last frontier before the Ural Mountains has been occupied, and it is now up to us to determine the fate of this stretch of land. We can either transfer control to the nearby Rex Commissariat, or we can maintain direct control over the strip for technical purposes. A direct rule. I like direct rule, but, uh, transfer. This is their job. 
and this is what they need to do. Please, Hoi4, don't... Er Alright, sorry about that, everyone, but uh, Hoi4 popped out or something. I'm not really sure. It didn't crash, but something happened. Um, we're well, seeing all of this stuff. <sighs> I guess technically giving it to these guys didn't do very much. I guess... Yeah, we're past the Urals now. Um, not really sure what to do with this stuff. Occupation policies, exiled governments, manage subjects. Um, cancel London, that's fine. I can't release anything here. Um, uh, I'm not sure what to do with this then. I'm really not sure. I mean, Muscovy took a lot of this over. They probably don't have the manpower equipment to really deal with it. They have no divisions, they have no manpower, which is not a good thing to see. Uh, yeah, so... Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do with this blob, then. I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong. I like the blob. It makes us look very good. You know what? We might just have direct rule from, uh, Berlin. I wish we could make another Reichskommissariat. Maybe if we get further on, but... I'm not really sure. Diplomatic decisions. Widespread mechanization is always a good thing to have. Air? It isn't bad. And preemptive strike or land. More soft attack. Tanks get even more soft attack. Tactical exploitation. Yeah, more breakthrough is probably the way we gotta go with artillery barrage. Yeah. Okay, then. Um, fighting the addition, we already did. Other first testimony, improved relations. Chem factories. Region-wide industrial... Inter That's not bad to do. We might do that one. Oh, are they still fighting Mongolia? They probably are. We're not, so that's good. Uh, they have some manpower. Naval design bureaus. Hopefully they get... Hmm. Let's see. Do they get cores on all this stuff? Because I don't mind like giving them like this territory if they get cores on it. I I really don't know. Uh, who's this? As long as they have Turkestan, Turkestan, uh, Ubers da da da. Oh, you know what? You want this territory? There you go. There you go. If that's your core. I'll I'll gladly give it to you so we don't have to deal with that. Yeah. There you go. Um. Islamic State. It's not the Islamic State, though. People's... Tajikistan is down there. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, I wish I could make Kazakhstan, but maybe I gave too much territory away. I, mean, I could give this to them. I mean, I don't really care too much. Uh, you know what? We might end up going to war with Russia later on anyways. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Let me know. What, what should I do with this? I mean, I could give it to them. I could take it back. I don't really know. I'm really not sure what to do with this territory as we're doing more focuses and we have to climb down on, you know, autonomy and stuff like that. We already went to early mobilization. We're going to go straight to war economy eventually, so I don't, I don't really have to touch that. We extended the war economy, so now we're a war economy, which is good. Growth switches here would be good. we got a lot of things to finish off here. Attention to the public. Consolidation of power. Remove great power struggle. Which one was that one? Great power struggle? Uh, what was that? German females. Less political power, more monthly population. How much do we get a month? Oh, 5,500, regional stockpiles, German pride, great power circle, we get... Eh, that's kind of important to do, but... Not extremely necessary. I kind of keep focusing on the economy, though. Penal system. Quality of designs, maintain the speed. Uh, Lufthansa expectation, conglomerates, free market economy. I think there's more civilian factors that we can maybe use them. Read the economic section of any newspaper or see the large billboards in major cities, and it'll be easy to see the key planners in the major areas of the economy. These monolithic, almost mythical corporations guide the economy tre tremendously. Krupp, Siemens, Daimler, IG Farben, and other countless others. Alongside their mag megalithic nature, they operate near to totally independent from the central government itself. This laissez-faire approach from the previous governments has been loosening even further under the tenure of Hermann Goring, leading to a large leap in economic growth over the past few years. There have been some missteps, but they have been fairly minor. It is important that the government continue to foster the benefit of the institutions, for they are not just Germany's gateway to success within the Reich's own borders, but also the gateway to foreign markets, which brings it with it a host of other opportunities. Great. Now, let's check out the USSR again. What is, uh... Actually, hold on. I was going to talk about, like, what is the GDP... Like, how's that going? Uh, something happened here, but, uh... He's starting to get a little older and older and older and older. But, you know, it is what it is. He's getting old. Uh, what was I gonna say? I forget. GDP? Hey, not bad. After we beat up the, uh... USSR, the more territory you take, the more GDP you have, I guess. Britain has fallen on really hard times. France is not looking great. Italy's doing okay. America's, of course, doing well, but... Mm, highly industrialized. Can't get rid of that. Can't get rid of that. I'm, oh, yeah, I wanna see. Do you have consumer goods factors? Ah, oh, dang, we don't have it yet. Uh... Human experiments? Uh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm not doing anything bad here. Nuclear reactors? Yes, please. Yeah. Um. Hmm. The economy isn't doing great right now. 
No more factories we might use. Probably doesn't help. Uh, are you guys still repairing? Jesus Christ, what the heck? Loading airfield, not bad, not bad. It's 57. Keep doing mass strikes, that'd be very good, very good. Okay, that's good as well to get done, yes. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time, a little bit ahead of time. Keep doing that. Naval doctrine, submarine operations, sure. Why not? What else are we going to do with it? Motorized. Let's see, I did want to see. Okay, mechanized is still doing well. Uh, guns, we're doing so much better on. It's not even funny. We need better APCs. I think it's time we got rid of some of this stuff here. So, Panzers, get rid of this. Main battle tanks. Not light tanks, no, 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 no. Main battle tanks. At least make them 20 combat width. Where is it? There it is. At the top. Throw some more APCs on here. 6-4. Not bad. That's that's generally pretty good. Logistic companies, maintenance companies would be good. Signal companies. We'll keep them on. There we go. Now it's going to really hurt our deficit there, probably. Anti-tank. Oh my goodness. Guns. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, that's not going to be very good for us. Whatever. Infantry divisions. How much artillery do we not have? Yeah, that's quite a bit compared to infantry equipment. I could throw, like, exchange this to become an artillery piece instead. Wait. Light infantry, huh? We get way less soft attack. If I replace you with this, yeah, it's probably not nearly as worth it. There we go. A little bit more of a balance here in terms of guns needed and artillery, even though now that's looking pretty bad as well. Over here, um, honestly, recon companies would be pretty nice. Maybe field hospitals, but we're gonna go with recon. The conglomerates, very good. Uh, control the Reich stuff. That's consumer goods. That's consumer goods. That might actually be worth doing more political power. Let's do free market economy. The free market is one of the most powerful things on the earth. Through their shifting words and actions of investors, bankers, and stockbrokers, nations rise, fall, and rise again. The power of pay, uh, paper money and metal coins have triumphed, have triumphed even the mightiest of the mythological beasts and deities. And it's time to reintroduce such a glorious system back to our nation once again. The public only grew disheartened with such an economic model when they became incredibly poor and the value of our money was so dreadfully worthless that it was being used as wallpaper. All this was during the Weimar era, coupled with that with the Great Depression. Both of these aspects contributed to our smashing success in our establishing rule, and the economic reforms that brought us out of that economic crisis were quick and speedy. Now that we've been long recovered from such despair, and, and there for some, it is easy to forget that the benefits of the invisible hand of the market. Let us remind the nation just how beneficial that hand is. I'm sorry I'm talking very, very quack, quack, quick, uh, just because I kind of need to. I want to get through this a little more quickly to see what happens. Um, yeah, after the first like a year, few years, the events kind of slow down, which is kind of okay. But you know, I kind of like more events too, please, if possible, if possible. How's Canada doing? Led by no one we know. Cool. Formation fighting, good, good stuff, I guess. Grab some hunt and destroy. That'd be very nice as well. Very good, very good. And you guys actually are probably just sitting there taking a lot of casualties. Yep, yes you are. My bad. Uh, infantry, come right here. See what you can do. You guys. Uh, stay around here because this is much better to do, probably. Yeah. Oh, and you guys can go home. Ein oh, Einsatzgruppen. Um, probably don't want to parade you around too much. You're 16 combat with, which isn't bad. Oh man, you guys move so Even the infantry moves so quickly. That is so nice to see. I'm glad they can move their little legs. Anti-air is doing okay, which we're done with. Light tanks? Why am I making light tanks? I was thinking maybe using them as... Like, better recon. But we don't have that option. So, what is wrong with this? Light tanks, goodbye. Good. We need so much more artillery. Holy crudderinos. I wish we could build stuff. I really wish we could build stuff, man. I'll be honest. Alright, good. Just go home and repair and you're done. Oh, you're d still doing stuff. Go ahead and stop that for now. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's wasting fuel or anything, but still. Another light cruiser, good. I guess go ahead and train up what you need. And that goes for everyone as well, if we need to really train more. But I think we're doing pretty well. I mean, we didn't have to raise a conscription level at all yet, which is nice. Free market economy is pretty good. Let's grab some control the Reich's mark. Along with the, the, taking a hands-off approach, a watchful eye and caring grip must be applied to other areas that could easily serve if not attended to such. None is more so evident than the Reich's mark itself. With the recent loosening of some areas of the economy, along with the growing laissez-faire stance, our national currency has seen a rather steady growth rate, bringing it up in value for the first time in quite a few years. The simple policy to apply such is to allow the f value of the Reich's mark to float, thus appeasing and meeting our goals for a free market economy, but intervening when necessary. Namely, if poor showings on the market contribute to a decline in value or inflation. Both are such an unlikely possibility at the moment, but it's always extremely important to keep a close watch on such a thing. Good. Good. 
For the love of God, why can't I get factories? We have an oversized Kriegsmarine, a welfare programs, economic recovery, uh, and we have uh, obviously our companies that are trying to give us and do stuff for us, but you know, whatever. Uh, war economy helps us out. Highly industrialized economy is okay. Oh man, this is... This is something, man. That's why I've not included anything else here, because I just... I don't want to lose any more consumer goods. Over here, though... Air superiority, 10%. You know what? Memorial Day of the Movement, great. We'll do auto desolat. Because we can. Carl Donuts, most sub attack. It's not bad. Sword efficiency, we probably want to get that. Convoy rating is not bad. Ground production effort, huh? <laughs> Apolitical, huh? Screen stuff. I want to do that, but we're not paternal autocrats. Subs, attacks. Um. Well, we don't really have much of options. We need the convoy rating, or sub attacks, or stuff over here. Screen attacks. Uh, Rouge? Let's go with Luchins. Artillery barrage? Very nice. And let's go with uh, tactical exp exploitation. More breakthrough, 10% tanks. For infantry and tanks? What more could you really ask for? Volunteer only? Yeah, definitely not. Uh, very good. Goring is doing a great job so far. And we'll finish off this episode with one more to focus. Oh, mass strikes. Gold reserve, why not? Another key aspect of the Führer's free market reform is the reintroduction of the gold standard. For the longest time, Germany and many other nations backed the value of the currency to that of gold, which served them very beneficially for decades. However, the most extreme of circumstances, the Great Depression, finally broke the camel's back. The U.S. withdrew from the gold standard under President Roosevelt and Germany under our Führer Adolf Hitler. Followed suit, of course. What came next was many adaptations and monetary reforms as a result of no longer having money, paper money backed by a bullion, which eventually saved the Reichsmark and brought it back into the prominence as a currency within international trade. Now that the Great Depression is gone, long gone, we're into the pages of history as a tremendous hurdle that we overcame in stride. The new Führer, Hermann Göring, wishes to return back to the bank, backing banking notes by gold once more, saying it as a way to brush away these many adaptations that we implemented, which seem confusing and unnecessary to economic, economists now. Göring also believes that it would reestablish a sort of rigidity to the Reichsmark, but unfortunately... That is all the time for that we have today. Hopefully there's still more stuff to come in the mod, but you know what? I want to at least get through the entire focus tree first, if possible. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you would be interested in joining my Discord server. And let me know, what should I do with this territory? Give it a rush or just keep it. Regardless, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.